Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting and fun-filled episode of Andrew Rants, the video series where I stand upon my metaphorical soapbox pedestal of the world and I bitch and complain about a lot of stuff that just plain, well, pisses me straight the hell off. And today's actually a requested rant video. Yes, I do do those from time to time. Occasionally, somebody has something that will get under my skin, boil my piss, and, well, Today's no exception, and today's topic de jour, what it's my anger-filled hatred going towards, the magical, I'm oh, sorry, the amazing world of Gumball. Yeah, believe it or not, I've actually seen this show. I used to watch some episodes when I still had cable yet on Cartoon Network, and in all honesty, for what it was, it wasn't that bad of a show. Yes, okay, I'm going to say the following here. Um, with this, it was okay for what it was. It was a weird show, but it played on the weirdness as that's what its whole gimmick was. The entirety of the show was basically, hey, look, it's a show. It's supposed to be fun and enduring. It's supposed to be fun and eventful. It's supposed to be cool. Whereas if you would watch it nowadays, you'd be scratching your head as to what they were all smoking. And the sad part is that it just ended earlier this year. Which brings me to my rants. Now, yes, I know, I'm talking about like the earlier stuff. If you watch the early seasons and then you watch it nowadays, it's like, what were they smoking? Because it did get a little better. But in all honesty, that ending was god-awful. Now, for those of you that are unfamiliar with the ending, I actually had to look it up. And thank God there's people on YouTube that have the ability to put stuff up before copyright knocks it down. I was able to finally catch the final episode of The Amazing World of Gumball that's entitled Inquisition. Now, I had not known of this episode prior to me being asked to do a rant video on it and me actually pulling up said video, so this was actually a fun-filled experience for me. No, I, I actually do mean that. I had a lot of fun looking this up. I mean, this was like freaking... This was amazing. No pun intended. But anyway, I digress. So what's my beef? That ending sucked. Look, I've actually watched some reviews on this ending. I have watched some information on this ending. I have tried to watch a video where the people in charge of the channel it was put on try their damnedest to explain the ending. There is no explanation for that. So, for those of you that haven't seen it yet, first off, congratulations, you are lucky. Uh, but for those of us poor saps that have seen it, therapy will not come cheap. I mean that wholeheartedly. No, apparently what happens is the Superintendent Evil, spelled E-V-I-L by the way, uh, comes to Elmore High, or comes to the school in Elmore, and all hell just breaks loose. And apparently... He starts turning the children into actual people and then attempting to turn them into live action like himself. However, it all turns out to be a character from what they call the Void, a place where things go that are long forgotten, that was attempting to apparently save them from being forgotten as the show was canceled. And none of them realized it. Look, denial is not just a river in Egypt, okay? But this is not the way you do an ending. Now, I know that Cartoon Network has managed to do a few shows that have had sort of, you know, false endings. Steven Universe is one of those that I'm squarely looking at on this one because, hey, look, Change Your Mind felt like a conclusion. That felt like the series finale. Wrapped up in a bow, we're done. Then the movie comes out. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so we're going to get another season? You hear those crickets? Yeah, that's the answer to that question. I, I don't know. Nobody does. And speaking of movies, that's what this one is apparently also gearing towards. Fans have been rumor have been seeing rumors going around about a about an amazing world of gumball movie. Now, while that would be nice, I have a few questions that I'd like to ask. What the hell would happen? Why would you do it now? Why not announce it, you know, are you trying to pull the Steven Universe route, end the series, and then, like, a couple days later, or a couple weeks or months later, announce, hey, we're getting a movie to wrap things up nicely. 
the creator of The Amazing World of Gumball has been slammed by fans going, where's the movie? We want the movie. To which he's actually said, look, stop asking me, okay? I don't know anything. I'm just a puppet in this, basically. And I understand that. I mean, don't get me wrong. When Cartoon Network pulls the strings, geez, the puppet gonna dance. That puppet dances when Cartoon Network pulls the strings. There's no you know, question about that. Puppets get the strings pulled, puppets gonna dance. But I think what annoys me the most about this ending is, besides the fact that it feels unfulfilled, it feels stupid based upon what I've seen of the show. Now, don't get me wrong, the series itself, like I said, is created in a way that every art style and animation that's in it is stupid in its own special way, and it all blends together to work with that. You have a mix of live action with CGI. You have like 3D modeling versus like stop motion in a way. You have sort of live characters versus cartoon. Stuff like that. Hell, even the final episode even plays to cartoon physics by having Gumball and Darwin escape the school in cartoon style. Which is a discussion video in itself, how in the hell cartoon physics work. That is something I'm really going to have to think about. That, I'm, that, that, don't want to overload my brain. Look, I thought this ending was dumb, okay? If this is set up for a conclusion, then you royally, royally fucked up, okay? It's not a satisfying conclusion if everything just gets pushed with the fucking reset button and everybody goes away happy with questions left unanswered. That's not a conclusion. That's a middle finger. If you want a conclusion, a conclusion basically gives you closure. Everything's wrapped up. Everything's tied up into a nice bow. And if there's a couple questions left over, eh, they might be ones that fans can speculate on, or you're going to come out with a movie to wrap it all up in the end. Or something else down the road, like maybe a comic or a one-off special. Something like that. Usually you'll wrap up the nice little, I want to say, leftovers in this case. Again, perfect example of this, Steven Universe. Change Your Mind felt like the series finale, and the movie wraps up a few more questions. And opens a shit ton of can of worms more, but I'll get into that some other day. Look, I thought the ending of Gumball was stupid. I'm not alone in this either, since I guarantee you, if you type in, Is the, wor is the Amazing World of Gumball Ending Stupid? on a Google search, you're going to get a flood of responses. Hell, if you put up a blog post, I hated the Amazing World of Gumball ending, I guarantee you, you're going to make some new friends. Mighty fast. In like 30 seconds or less. And all this just pales in comparison, shoots itself upon a weirdness that it holds, the fact that the series itself ends on a fucking cliffhanger! Several series have done this, and they aren't just cartoons. There have been several series that have done this. A series that my mom was watching called Code Black, a show about a hospital, ended on a cliffhanger. That pissed her off, too, by the way. She was royally pissed at that. Then you have other shows, like Alphas. Who remembers that abomination? That ended on a cliffhanger. Yeah, that's right. And who could forget the greatest cliffhanger of all and one of my future anime GBU episodes, World Trigger. That still has ended on a cliffhanger, with the hiatus being a massive one. Now, I understand the reason for that one, but you figure you could have made a filler episode to wrap it up. Something. A, a movie down the road. But the hiatus, I understand. That one gets a pass. But if you ever look up cliffhangers, that one's definitely going to come up. But it gets a pass for me because I understand the circumstances behind why. As for Gumball, that's unexcusable. I mean, you want another piss poor ending. Let me introduce you to a show called Adventure Time. That had a piss poor ending. Everybody was happy except for Flynn. Everybody! Blaine Princess found somebody? 
Princess Bubblegum and Marceline got together, which pissed off some people, but made others happy. I was happy with it. I thought they were a cute couple. Simon managed to find somebody. Everybody was happy. Flynn the human. The one character in this show. And if you tell me his happy ending was other humans came on those boats, I'm going to call bullshit. Right off the top, bullshit to that. Everybody else got happy endings. He got a meh ending. That ain't a happy ending. That's a meh ending. Meh. Oh, look, there's other humans. Meh. He knows other people exist. He saw them underground. That's not a happy ending, morons! Ugh. Or even worse, I could even throw regular show under the bus on this one because let's remember regular show's ending. Pops dies, sacrificing himself to save everyone. And how do we get the ending for this? It's a metacore ending. It feels half-assed, but at the same time complete. Because... Pops dies, but in the process, everybody lives and goes on with their lives, but we had to lose a character to get that. Then again, that whole last season can kiss my ass. Okay? The, the parks in space? Lifted off the ground? What the hell were the writers smoking? Did one of them just walk in one day and go, I know what we should do for the next season. I watched Star Trek baked last night. We should go into space! Brilliant idea. How baked were you? Full on plastered. My food was talking to me, my utensils were swearing at me, and my couch was begging me to get off it. Beautiful. Let's roll with it. That's what that last season felt like. It's like this is a massive screw you middle finger to the fans. None of it made sense! And now we have Gumball, which ends. Look, I understand Cartoon Network is finally, finally starting to pull their heads out of their ass. I'm happy for that. Believe me, I cannot even begin to tell you how happy I am for that. Finally, we can start getting some decent programming. Look, you did a good job with the Steven Universe movie. Infinity Train, from the clips that I've seen, was good. Roll with stuff like this. This is how you make it go. All we gotta do left anymore is get rid of Teen Titans Go!, and keep some of the other stuff. And I swear, if We Bear Bears ended, you might have one more nail in your coffin because that was another good show you had. I'm not joking. But I digress. What were your thoughts on the conclusion of the amazing world of Gumball? Did you like the ending? Did you hate the ending? Did you just scream obscenities at the TV or the computer when it aired? What were your thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, I'm Andrew Rhodes. This has been Andrew Rance.